In this video we're going to be dealing with quite a tricky problem. We're told that for a geometric series the second term is 450 and the sum to infinity is 5000. And we want to find the two possible values of r. Now, it may not seem immediately obvious as to how we're going to go about that. But, we have three formulas that are all in the formula booklet that we could use. We're going to use this top one and the third one. Because we know the second term is 450, that allows us to write 450 is equal to, using this formula, a r to the n minus 1. Now, n minus 1 is 2 minus 1, because we're looking at the second term, but 2 minus 1 is just 1. So, 450 is equal to a r. If the sum to infinity is 5,000, then using this formula, 5,000 equals a over 1 minus r. Now, we're asked to find the two possible values of r, so we want to somehow eliminate the a's. Okay, I want to be able to get rid of the a's. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange the first equation to write it as a is 450 over r. And I'm going to rearrange the second equation to say that, well, a, sorry, is 5,000, 1 minus r. Okay, multiplying both sides by the 1 minus r. So if a is equal to both of these, then 1 is equal to the other. Okay, so put 1 equal to the other, and now I want to rearrange this. So if I expand the right hand side and multiply through by this r at the same time, I'm going to be left with 450 on the left hand side, is equal to 5,000 times 1 times r, so 5,000 r, and 5,000 times minus r times that r is minus 5,000 r squared. Now, if I rearrange that, make it a little bit nicer, 5,000 r squared minus 5,000 r plus 450 is 0. So I've thrown everything onto the left-hand side of the equation. Now, this isn't looking very pretty, so I'm going to divide through by 50 and get left with 100r squared minus 100r plus 9 is 0. It looks a little bit nicer, but still not very nice. But this can be factorised. So... This is 10r minus 1 times 10r minus 9. Okay? So this can be factorised, or you could use the quadratic formula, whichever one you like. So the, if this bracket is 0, 10r minus 1, then we've got r must be equal to 1 tenth. And if 10r minus 9 is 0, if that bracket is 0, then r is equal to 9 tenths. And so they are the two values of r that work with that initial original data. Okay, So it's a much more long-winded process and is really going to test your algebra skills here in knowing what you can do and where you're going with it. But that's how you would solve this problem. 